Leaders call for action on gun violence after at least seven people were injured in two separate shootings overnight. Police say three people were hurt during a shooting at a holiday gas station on Rice Street about 1.30 in the morning. And just a half an hour later, four people were hurt in a shooting at a large house party on Selby Avenue. Police say dozens of shots were also fired on Central Avenue shortly before midnight. Thankfully, nobody was injured in that one. No arrests have been made in any of those cases. City leaders are now calling on the community to put an end to that violence. Our Mitty Hicks joins us live from St. Paul with more on that tonight, Mitty. Well, Kelsey, you asked some residents here in St. Paul about what keeps them up at night, and they'll tell you the fear of dying in their sleep after these recent shootings. That's why they're urging city leaders to step up and do more. I don't even want to go to the gas station that's over by my house anymore. Jamie Hendricks has lived in St. Paul for more than 30 years and says she's scared to leave the house with the recent surge in carjackings and now shootings. Her latest fears come after police responded to this house on Selby Avenue following the reports of gunshots where there's an apartment and other family homes. You can see bullet hole piercings in the windows. This is about families and people's lives. And every time that there is someone that dies or is hurt, this whole community suffers. Seven people were injured as a result of gun violence on Saturday night and into Sunday morning. And while no one died, residents like Dora Jones Robinson, who is also running for St. Paul mayor, say they can't take it anymore. We've been dealing with this for three or four years around this neighborhood. How many times do we got to keep losing lives, shooting after shooting? They're asking city leaders for technology such as Shot Spotter, a tool that alerts police when there's a possible shooting. But Mayor Melvin Carter says nationwide data shows the technology isn't effective. Many of the cities who invested in Shot Spotter have canceled those contracts in recent years as well. And so this is where we cannot accept. Uh, simple solutions or oversimplified rhetorical type of solutions. And while he adds that all public safety options are on the table, residents disagree and say the technology could make a difference. What was ShotSpotter did last night? It would have gave the police a quicker response to get here. And community leaders say of those seven victims, four were women. Police say all seven are expected to survive. Live in St. Paul, Mitty Hicks, Fox 9.